Wow, that's, I don't know. Well, that's his third foul, no basket. Here's Holt. Steven Holt gets himself to the free throw line. It was loud and you couldn't hear the whistle. Foul against the Zags, though. Holt will shoot two. You know that Steven Holt's just putting his head down and going to the rim. Uh, he's bigger than Stockton or Pango, so they can't keep him out of the paint. Gary Bell Jr. strong enough, but he's charged with keeping up with Dylan Dover. So Stephen Holt is really taking advantage of his size right now. Mom and Dad look on, and a miss from Holt, which just has not happened in this second half. Now, Stephen, you were here in this building earlier this year when Brandon Paul had a huge performance and lifted Illinois almost single-handedly to a, a win, the only Gonzaga loss of the season. Holt misses both. Different kinds of players, but Holt's got that look in his eyes. He does have that look in his eye, and Gonzaga struggles when guys get on runs like that. So we have to keep an eye and see what kind of adjustments Mark Few and his staff will make. Stockton down the lane. Stockton cut off. Delavadova on top of David Stockton at five first half assists. There's Karnowski down low, stripped away. Stolen by St. Mary's. Delavadova finds Holt. Walker back to the red hot Stephen Holt. Now the Gales will reset. Ball on the floor. Holt avoids the turnover. Well, he had to be strong with that as well. A lot of hands in on that interaction. Salvador trying to find his way through the defense. No good on the three. Walker tracks down the loose ball. Skip pass, extra look, what a pass by Della Vidova. and then Young, who rips it away from Olenek and scores. Second effort from Mitchell Young. Mitchell Young, that's a grown man move right there. I'm going to take your lunch money, is what he told Kelly Olenek. Give me that lunch money, son. He short-armed the first shot and might have been a little ticked off about that. Here's Olenek against the double team. Karnowski rejected. Olenek draws the foul. Now the effort for Gonzaga, but on the other end, the effort for the Gales. Anytime you're trying to cut into an 18-point lead, you have to have plays like this. Mitchell Young taking it right out of Kelly Olenek's hands. Just treating him like a little, little stepbrother. Give me your money. And Olenek has been the star of this game until now. Stephen Holt fighting for top billing. Olenek at the line to shoot two. And more foul trouble piling up for St. Mary's. First one good. Rowley's got four. Levesque has four. Waldo has three. It'll be Brad Waldo to come back in. Well, Cal Rowley goes to the bench, but we were talking earlier, Dave, about his contribution in the championship game last year and, and how much he, he meant to the St. Mary's ball club in pulling off the upset. Yeah, kind of a similar performance in the WCC championship game in Las Vegas. Not big minutes, not big numbers, but an impact when he was in the game. Young sets the hard screen. Della Vidova open. No good on the three. It's been a tough night for Della Vidova. He was wide open there. Well, one of the reasons Gonzaga's been able to win or excuse me, St. Mary's been able to win four of the last seven has been because of the three-point shot. Olenek had a layup. He missed that one. Delvinova finds Holt, but no shot. A foul. And a foul. Is that against Waldo? Holt threw up the shot. Oh, this game has just gotten crazy. And Pangos held Waldo. So the fouls against Pangos, and they did not count the shot. Look at the action right there. Pangos, yep. Pretty easy call. Yeah, you can't blame the official. I mean, St. Mary's wanted the shot to count. You can't blame the official for blowing that whistle there. No, no, that was, a, that was an easy call to make. And Pangos trying to keep Waldo out of an easy situation. You can just feel the nervous tension in this building. Gonzaga was up by 20 in the second half. Waldo at the line for one and one. Both teams in the bonus. Comes up short. Free throws, an issue. And see, that's 
That's the thing when you're trying to come back and cut it to a lead. There's such a small margin of error. And Pangos pads the lead with a three. Big shot for Kevin Pangos. Manny Bennett will call a timeout. I think he sensed that was a big swing. The missed free throw and then the three. Well, Kevin Pangos following the big man is what it's called. When there's a big involved in the pick and roll defense, you go as the big man turns and runs back into the paint, you follow him. Kevin Pangos found the, the daylight, drained the triple. Or Gonzaga back up by 9, 64-55. Pangos has such a quick release. He only needs a small opening to get that shot off, and he's played a heck of a game. Six of eight from the field, so 15 points and very efficient doing it. Yeah, he's been very efficient, and he's played off of Kelly Olynyk's outstanding performance very well. Kevin Pangos, we've been talking about Stephen Holt, his family. The Pangos family is here as well. Watching Kevin, just a sophomore, Canadian native from Ontario, so a long way to travel to get here to Spokane. Yeah, this is uh, called the Rainbow Coalition. With all the different nationalities represented here in Spokane through this Gonzaga program. Down low, whistle and a foul on the floor, a hold against Harris. <laughs> Randy Bennett, the whistles are going his way, and he's still ticked off because I think he felt like, again, he had a layup, but a foul against the Zags. So it's 64-55, Gonzaga with the nine-point lead, 7.43 to go. Do we have some more dramatics in store? We'll see. team with a nine-point lead against St. Mary's. The last time the Gales won here, what a dramatic finish. A couple of years ago, Mickey McConnell, remember Mickey, great St. Mary's player, final seconds of the game against Robert Sacre's defense. What a shot, almost at the buzzer, a landmark win for the Gales, 73-71. Not only their last victory here on this court, the only conference loss for the Zags here at home in a lot of years. Gonzaga leads the all-time series. Lately, it's been a lot closer than overall. Yeah, Mickey McConnell was a terrific player. The pride of Mesa, Arizona, came in and was stealth within that shot. Brad Waldo, another one-and-one -one opportunity for him. And he comes up short again. Young with the offensive rebound. A foul against the Zags. Waldo keeps missing free throws. The Gales, though, with Mitchell Young, keep hustling after loose balls. See, it's going to be a level of toughness that Gonzaga is going to have to to bring to the table each and every night because if they clear the offense, if they clear the defensive glass, this game isn't close. It's the only way St. Mary's has been able to stay in the game is getting on the offensive glass. Young makes the first of two double bonus down for the Gales. Not been a big scoring night for Mitchell Young. Makes them both. Part of the reason the Gales have come from behind. Look at the difference. First half, the Zags dominated in the paint. Second half, it's been all St. Mary's. And they've done a good job on the adjustments until then. Olenek has missed some shots from close range, so he's really cooled off. I'd like, to, I'd like to see him start ducking that, though, Dave. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think he could be a little stronger there. Delavadova to Young. Here's Waldo down low against Harris. Waldo makes his move and scores. He got away with a little twinkle toes there, but it, it's almost been a, a role reversal. Gonzaga got anything they wanted in the paint in the first half. St. Mary's now picking up the mantle. So back to five. Harris with the foul. He got the great position, and he scored with contact. Oh, Brad Waldo, watch his feet here. Gets a little tippy toe going to the hole, and then look at Elias Harris. He's just point blank. There's nothing Mitchell Young can do in that position. What foul? Young will come out of the game. Bo Levesque with his four fouls. 
And again, that was a point of some controversy. How many fouls did he have? Four. So he's back in the game. Harris completes a three-point play. And they need Elias Harris to be a little bit more aggressive on both ends of the floor. Delavadova going to the basket with some contact. It'll be Delavadova who's almost automatic going to the free throw line. Hart committed the foul there. What you may not be able to tell on on the TV is how strong and big Matthew Delvadova is. I mean, he's got great size at the point guard position. And when you see him go to the rim and take that contact and still be able to get a shot off, that's why, because he's one of the strongest and best point guards in the nation. Makes the first of two better than a 90% free throw shooter. There's been a quiet.